Peace and blessings, family. Welcome back to another Through the Bible. On this Through the Bible, I'm going to pick up at Acts chapter 4. I'm going to do verses 1 through 18. And of course, you know what to do. Get your pens, your paper, and your Bibles. Take notes and follow along. All right, Zahar. So let's go ahead and get into this Acts chapter 4 and verse 1. And as they spake unto the people, the chief priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. All right, and so this is a continuation from Acts chapter 3, where Peter, you know, he was telling them that, you know, that a prophet like unto Moses would rise up and that they were to listen to him. And, um, and this is a continuation, and it says, as, And as they spake unto the people, this is Peter and John doing the speaking, the priest, the captains, and the temple, of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. And so this uh, is shows you the mindset of the leadership because you run up on these men teaching Torah, as yeah. they would say, <laughs> and they what? Confronted them. Confronted them, mm -hmm. yeah. Still happens today. Okay, verse 2. Being grieved that they taught the people and preach through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. So we got two things that happen here. Just listen to it, y'all. We're talking mm. about um, these are priests, captains of the temples, and Sadducees. And it says in verse 2, being grieved that they taught the people. If you just stop right there and just listen to what you're hearing, you are grieved because your people are being taught. Wow. Their book. But it grieves you. Right. And um, and it shows you. So if you grieve because they're teaching the people, what have you been doing? That's right. What, what have you been giving to the people, mm -hmm. teaching the people? That's right. And also they preach through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Mm. So this is a message they didn't want the people mm. to hear. So wait a minute, they were not just stirring up the people to um, do evil. No. Mm -mm. They're just teaching. Just teaching the people. They not. They didn't pull up banging their music and throwing mm -hmm. a, a party <laughs> at the temple. No. Mm -mm. Teaching the people. And they grieved about it. Mm -hmm. That's just disturbing to me. And that's the same thing we deal with today, you know. Mm -hmm. um, these magical magical negroes negroes are mm -hmm. upset they are because we're teaching the people what this word that's right to mm -hmm. live right to be holy they don't want that. to come out of babylon mm -hmm. no see because if you teach them i'm gonna lose money that's right mm -hmm. that's right what's gonna happen to me what's gonna happen if they follow that Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get a job. I'm gonna have to. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen to you because you ain't gonna be able to gank the people no more out of your money. That's right. Verse 3. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day, for it was now even tied. And so you see, this is what Israel does when they don't like something. They yep. come and put their hands on their hands. On get them. physical. But it's uh, so we see that they lay hands on them and put them in hold until the next day because mm -hmm. it was already evening time. Mm -hmm. So I thought, according to some teachers, that evening started a new day. <laughs> That's what they say. But it says. Until um, the next day. Until the next day. So if day. evening time or evening time was right then, he would have said already, the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> That's right. All right, verse 4. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand and that's what i love once the word yes, is sir. out there i don't care how you don't like it i don't care how you agree by it you can't take away 
wants people to unheard. That's right. And they believe you can't snap. You can take the video down. You can do all that. But they don't heard that. They message. don't heard it now. You can't do nothing with that. Because the Lord's word ain't going to go and come back unto him for it. That's no. right. And it says, and the number of the men. The men. Men. This is what we want. Our men. That's right. To hear this word and to believe. To be real men of God was about what five thousand, and your preacher is upset, upset. and doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. So it, but the key here is that they heard they the word, heard. not right. your preacher doctrine, but they heard the, the word, word of God. So let's go to Romans chapter ten. We're gonna do verses fourteen and fifteen. Ready? Romans 10, 14, and 15 says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Is not this what Peter then was doing? The people heard. Why? Because you cannot hear without a preacher. So what does this tell you about these Sadducees, these captains of the temples? Because... He just said, how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And remember, they preached Jesus That's right. through the resurrection of the dead. And, and Jesus is, is the word. Right. Mm -hmm. Which means they weren't preaching the word. They were giving people the word of God. Not at all. They was giving them traditions. Mm -hmm. That's right. The traditions of the elders. Mm -hmm. The doctrines of man. <laughs> That's right. And all of that is connected to what? Get some money. Mm-hmm. That's right. So they can build their palaces right next to the temple. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's Big houses. All it's about for them. And I'm going to modernize it. Cars, clothes, mm -hmm. shoes, jewelry, pocketbook, dresses for the new, for the first lady. lady. Yes. Bentleys for the children. Mm -hmm. That's for their right. children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so true, Zahar. Mm -hmm. And it says, how should they... Um, and how shall they believe in him on whom they have not heard? Because this is the message that Peter then was telling them, that a Moses truly said unto the fathers, that a prophet like, like unto your brethren, yes, sir. like unto me, him you shall hear. Mm. In what? All things. In all, not some. And whatsoever he said unto you, that's what you're going to do. And this is that him of whom they have not heard. Because this message of that prophet like unto Moses was not being taught by these Sadducees. They was these people was too busy stealing from the widows, yep. the fatherless. And how shall they um hear without a preacher? Mm. Because those ones who were sent by Jesus, they was real preachers. They was the real he gave them some real shepherds. Mm -hmm. And he said, And how shall they preach except they've been sent? Now, didn't Jesus tell them to go, to go into, all into all the world and preach? Mm -hmm. And he said, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And when these people heard this message, that's why them 5,000 men that was numbered that heard the word believed that's right. because of those glad tidings that Peter and John brought unto them. Mm -hmm. So they'll let you know everybody that come calling themselves a preaching bastard too don't mean they sent mm -mm. by God either. No. Mm -mm. And so you wonder why they don't come with the message of God, but they call themselves preachers, yes. pastors, and elders, mm -hmm. but they teach something else. Right. That don't line up with book because mm -hmm. they wouldn't sin. They wouldn't sin. Not at all. Mm -mm. Okay. It was sent by uh -huh. something, but it wouldn't go. It sure wasn't. <laughs> yep. 
Because mm-hmm. everybody likes that title. They like the clout. Yeah. You know, that recognition. They like that. But these true preachers, you mm-hmm. suffer. Yeah. Teaching this thing. I mean, look at them. Um, you know, Peter and them put in jail. Mm-hmm. That's yep. what the hole is. Mm-hmm. You get confronted. You're jailed mm-hmm. because you teaching the people. That's right. And they don't like it. So they come against you. Mm-hmm. And you trying to do good work. Yeah. They weren't teaching our men to pimp out our women yeah. and te- you know, treat them like dogs. And you wouldn't want them to be righteous. Right. I mean, I know I would. Mm-hmm. Because if you got the 5,000 men with these come the women and the, and children. the children. That's right. My goodness. So, oh boy. That's why, you know, um, preaching is the most dangerous job. It in the sure world. lives. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to Acts 4 and verse 5. And it came to pass on the morrow that the rulers and elders and scribes. Hold on, Zahar. Did you just say it came to pass on the morrow? The morrow. The next day in the morning. The next day in the morning. Not evening not or not evening night. Tide. Mm-mm. So the next day would be the morning. The next day would be the following The evening morning. in the morning was the first day. That's right. <laughs> All right. So we know that it's the next day on tomorrow that the, their rulers and elders and scribes mm. go ahead to heart. And Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. Oh, so their rulers, elders and scribes, Ananias, the high priest, you got Caiaphas, you got um, John and Alexander, and as many were of kindred. Now, wouldn't kindred be offspring, family? Family. And so if Annas was a priest, that means that we're dealing with some Levites. We're dealing with the Levites. Okay. So, and we can see like this kindred's. In Revelation 7 and 9. Yep, the kindreds, the families, kin, like we say, my closer kin. What mm-hmm. is that? Right, kindred, family, mm-hmm. offspring. That's what you're saying. Kindred, family. right? Because mm-hmm. you got, remember, we got 12 tribes. 12 tribes, yep. So they were gathered together at Jerusalem okay so let's see now so now you got to remember these these scribes Pharisees Sadducees these rulers elders high priests they were not stupid they understood the message and so with this you're saying that Jesus now being that lamb of God and he has been slain because remember Peter they were preaching the resurrection from the dead Right? That's right. Which showing that Jesus was the Lamb of God that was slain and that he rose from the dead. And so they understood. Now, if Jesus is that lamb, them bulls, them goats, them lambs, that's over for the Levites. Your job is gone. So they understood what Peter and John were preaching. That's right. You have been relieved from your duties. Order me a cancer deep on deck. <laughs> <laughs> they so they know what it that, meant. Right. Mm-hmm. So they like, so you mean tell me these people ain't got to bring no more lambs. No more goats. What? Mm-hmm. Yes, Jesus, the Lamb of God. That's right. Mm-hmm. And remember, you know, if y'all remember, this is how the Levites because um, remember they didn't have no inheritance or mm-hmm. anything like that. That's right. The Lord said, "I'm your inheritance." This is how they ate. Mm-hmm. That's right. The people. That's right. And the, but because the know, Lord would say, "Give be this part of the offering, and then y'all eat mm-hmm. this for y'all." That's so right. This is how the Lord took care of the Levites. So they right. Were, but you know, it's a hard. The thing they don't understand is if they was um had this knowledge. Instead of them being replaced, 
Well, if you would have been preaching Christ, you know a labor is worth of his hire. The Lord That's still right. was going to take care take of you. Take care of you. But what yeah. they did went into fight mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because that's what they're hearing when mm -hmm. they're hearing Christ being preached. Yes. Man, no more the the offerings. Yes. What about the tithes? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> that's right. And then you know they was taking the extra off the top. Yeah, you Anything know that. Mm -hmm. so yes. they like, man. Because you know how, was it um, Samuel's sons? Who was it? No, it was Eli's oh. sons in the book of Samuel. I think it was well, Samuel's sons was a mess too. Yeah, well, but, yeah, they were yeah. some. <laughs> but they, Eli, Eli sons. and Hop with Hophni and Pinehas, yeah. ooh, they was a mess. Mm -hmm. You know how they just digging in, grab what mm -hmm. they want. So yeah, extra off the top. Yes, yeah. they were definitely <laughs> doing <laughs> mess. <laughs> they were ruthless. So in other words, there go your livelihood That's in right. their mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we know the Lord take care of it, but right. in their mind, oh, there go the livelihood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but if if because all you had to do was say what well, Lord you said that you are our inheritance, so mm -hmm. Lord gonna stand on His word. Yeah, He gonna stand on. Mm -hmm. it. Right. So verse seven. And when they had sent them in the midst, they asked, "By what power or by what name have you done this?" First of all, y'all put me in the midst, me and John. So that means they like to surround yes. you. They got you in the circle. They put you in the middle. And then they ask by what power or by what name have you done this? They want to know. So That's an intimidation tactic. Yes, it is. You yep. feel surrounded. Gang up on you yeah. all at once. Let's go to John 5. John 5, 26 through 27. Mm. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given to the Son to have life in himself, and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. All right. And so this same Jesus that had power was the same one and that authority is the same one that gave the disciples or the apostles the same power and it's by his name that these men have done this because this comes from the father That's right. to Jesus and then Jesus gave it to his disciples. Mm -hmm. And, you know, remember to ask him, who gave you this authority? Because ultimately the Levites mm -hmm. were given the authority, authority right. by God mm -hmm. to to teach the people. That's right. Mm -hmm. And to be his ministers to the people. That's right. So they want to know, well, who gave you authority to do what you're doing? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. The same God that gave you the authority, but you... Uh, but you ain't doing your job. That's right. You ain't doing what you supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So he done sent us. That's right. That's who the father. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So true. And they still ask you that today. If, if you're a true preacher, they come right to the true pre preacher and ask yes. them, wait, where you get this from? from who me. is your elder? Yes. Yeah. Who, who, who gave you? When did you start this? Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Acts 4 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, verse 8 says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, You rulers of the people and elders of Israel. All right. So now he is addressing the leadership. You rulers of the people and you elders of Israel. He's addressing the leadership of Judah, the elders of Israel. They the ones that got our people in this lame position. Just like when Peter and them just healed um, this lame man. You know, our people are still sick yep. and need to be made whole. But then they quick to run up on somebody that is trying to heal our people. 
the true pe preachers, the ones that are sent mm -hmm. with the message of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and to love their God and to love one another. Our people still struggling with this love. Yeah. Because the leadership benefits from the suffering, mm -hmm. the exploitation, yes, and the oppression of our people. They mm -hmm. benefit from that. Yes. So if you come with the word of God and you teach them and they get healed through the word, mm -hmm. that's my business. That's right. Mm hmm That's right. Show lives. Because really, it go all it it go it go back to that. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing in Babylon. They want everybody sick. Yes, that's how they make money. That's right. Big pharma wants your money. Mm -hmm. So yes. we gonna keep you doped up on this medicine. So imagine you come to the hospitals and the Lord done he he's healing through you. Mm -hmm. You clean out the hospital. They gonna want to kill you. Yes. Yeah. They got to get rid of you. Mm -hmm. You a big problem. That's, That's right. We profit off of um, the people being the sick. The people being sick. Mm -hmm. And here you come wanting to heal folks. Yeah. They want you healed. No, because you if sick. you're healed, you don't need my medicine. That's right. Mm -hmm. You won't need my poison potions. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's so true. It is just like, you know, the leadership of even down to day, you know, all these years that these black preachers, you know, had our black women um, yes. up under their leadership, um, these preachers. But look at our women, you know, Bad because shit. why these preachers told them, you are loose. You are loose, woman. Mm -hmm. And these same preachers told them that. Your husband ain't no good. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to listen to that dick girl. He don't come up in here no with you. No way. Church with you, no way. And then, not only that, these same preachers was having sex with yep. the, uh, these women. Yep, going with the women mm -hmm. right there in the church. Yeah, telling them night and white, wearing all white, make you holy, and joining the motherboard. No. And then even look at our children. Wasn't teaching them nothing in no, Sunday no. school, you know. They go to Sunday school class, but they look at the rotten behaviors of their mamas and the preachers because they can see this hypocrisy. Yeah, they sure right? can. As soon as church over, what, what was they doing? Talking about Sister Sally, Brother Joe, mm -hmm. Deacon Al. Talking about all of them. And the children heard it. They don't want nothing to do with it. Children don't even go to church no more. Yeah. And we ain't even got to speak on the men. Oh, yeah. Our black men, yeah. because they didn't want nothing to do with these sorry behind preachers. Why? Because as soon as their wife came home from church, mm. because them and the black men, they stayed home from yeah, church back in my day. They just watch NFL. Because so. why? <laughs> they knew that preacher was a liar and a thief, and they knew that he was a mm. You know, but guess what? To these elders and preachers and rulers of Israel, from then even to this day, Lord getting ready to shoot some of them that's evil right. arrows out on you. Mm -hmm. He sure is. And that's why the Lord had these um, Israelite men marching up and down. Yes. Do I? Yeah, I could at least say this country, and they was confronting these preachers. Yes. See mm -hmm. the warning come first. Yeah. And then Lord, you give you time, space to repent, and then later come the judge. Mm hmm. Sure do. Yep. But they haven't done nothing for the people. They haven't mm -hmm. taught nothing. anything. But mm -hmm. made a bigger mess yeah. out of it. Okay. Okay. Verse um, 9. Yes. If we this day be examined of the good deed done to the imp impotent man, by what means he is made whole? So here it is. So now you want to come examine me. But what you doing is, because it said, be a, he says, if we this day be examined of the good, was it a good deed? He said, uh, we did a good deed, good work, not you, we did some evil. Mm -hmm. By what means is this helpless, this impotent, this crippled man has been made whole. But here come these preachers to examine what you doing yeah. 
Cause what you're doing is doing good. She, um, you're doing good deeds. You're showing love um, to our people. You're making their minds whole. Yes, sir. And these preachers don't like they it. They don't like that. They do not like it. Stay mm -hmm. impotent. Which says a lot about them. Mm -hmm. I'm standing trial for something good I did. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know that. That's right. But you treat me like I just did some sort of evil. Yes. Like I did something rebellious mm -hmm. and destructive. <laughs> That's right. What does that say about the leadership? Then? Right. They, mm -hmm. wicked. they are wicked. Because only the wicked hate good deeds. Mm -hmm. That's right. They do. Okay. Um, verse 10. Yes. Be it known unto you all. And to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. So since they wanted to ask that question, <laughs> when they had them in the midst surrounded, mm. they wanted to know by what power or by what name. Have you done this? And Peter them said, I want all y'all to know. Yes, sir. And to all the people of Israel. Because, you know, Israel always listens. Oh, yeah. Especially when they, they think something's finna go down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. they finna fight. Yeah. Ooh, they got <laughs> That's Israel. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's still. <laughs> but Peter said that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, where y'all said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes, sir. That Jesus that came out of there, by him, the one you crucified, mm. whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you hold. Yes, sir. Let's go to Mark 11, 27 and 28. Mark 11, 27, 28 says, And they come, and they come again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, there come to him the chief priests, and the scribes, and the elders, and say unto him, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee? this authority to do these things. His father. But you notice it's the same it's the same same group. leadership. Same leadership. Yep. They did it to Jesus and killed him and now they wanted to, they want to kill the apostles. Peter and mm -hmm. John. But guess what? Jesus raised from the dead. Yep. That's so right. Peter them letting them know, hey, God raised the dead. So even if you kill us. By his name, the same man yes, that stand your whole, he can raise us from the dead. So that's that that just make you bold in yeah. Christ. You no, know, if you put me yes, to death, sir. I'm gonna rise again because Jesus rose. Right? So let's go back to Acts 4 and verse 11. Because the Israelites like to use intimidation. Yes, tactics. they do. Mm -hmm. Love to come to gang up fold. on you. Mm-hmm. Um, verse 11. Yes. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Hold on. So Jesus is the stone which is set at naught of you builders. You builders. The builders was the one supposed to what you supposed to develop our people into what a holy nation. But you wasn't doing that. You set him at naught. Mm. Jesus, that same stone that you treated as worthless. That's at not because yeah, it, he didn't no, mean it, anything to you. Mm -hmm. You built us. He has become the head of the corner yes, or the sir. foundation of this thing. Mm. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 28. And 14. Oh boy, Peter was them getting it in, boy. Because they were supposed to be the builders. Yes, sir. But they ain't building our people. They building themselves up. Mm-hmm. 
Isaiah 28 and 14. Okay. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. See? Mm. And I know they knew this script. Yeah. They knew this <laughs> verse. <laughs> That's why Peter quoting it. That's right. Just because they sit in the seat and ain't doing what they supposed to do, they still know. Yeah, that don't mean they, yeah. They, they dumb and don't know. That's why mm -hmm. Peter is telling it to them. And he said, wherefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, you scornful men. That what? What, what does scornful mean here? Because he said, the scornful that what? Rule this people. Mm -hmm. Scornful means, this is just a regular Google okay. definition. It says, feeling or expressing contempt or derision. Um, let me see. Contempt, derision, um, mocking, sneering, disdain. Um, let me see. Let me look up. But either way, we know all that is evil. Well, yeah, we do. He could have said wicked men. It'll fit Israel. Yeah, scoffers. Mm -hmm. It says scoffers and rejectors. See? And these are the type of leaders that Israel, even to this day, has ruling over what? Our people. people. Mm. And just think about it. Are not they doing that here? Yeah. They're doing they're this doing right, right here now. in Acts 4, and they're doing it right here in 2024. Nothing yep. has changed. Nothing. And you know how I know it ain't changed? Look at our community. At our community. Has, has anything changed? No. No. Nope. nope. Not at all. Because we got scornful men ruling over Israel. Sad. Teaching them. Okay, so we're going to go back to Acts 4 and verse 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. All right, so now let's go to John 5 right quick. We're going to go to John 5, 39, 40, 42, and then 45 through 46. Because Peter said, neither is there salvation in any of them. There is no deliverance from your sin other than that name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Mm. So John 5 and 39. It says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Okay. And you will not come to me that you might have life. All right. So Jesus tells them to search the scriptures. Now remember, there was no New Testament, these letters that we're reading. But he said, what well, the scriptures. So go by and read the law of Moses. You can read the prophets. You can read Psalms. All that stuff is written in me mm. that you think you got life in but you better and you will not come to me that you may have life now when jesus tell you you ain't gonna come that means you ain't coming mm. that's scary that you might have life okay verse 42 but i know you that you have not the love of god in you oh wow so this was the whole thing this is why they wouldn't come because they had no love in them no love for god and no love for their own people. Mm -hmm. So they ain't coming to Jesus and the message that he's bringing. Mm -hmm. No, and our people still mm -hmm. don't want to come. You start teaching love. Yeah, you got Israel's church over there telling people you got no love. Mm -hmm. They must not know about the law. They must have forgot. No, love is the fulfillment of it. Yes, that's right. The Lord wants us to love one another. Yes, he does. 
and y'all knows. ain't got it in you. That's mm-hmm. why you don't talk about it, and that's why you don't do it. Mm-hmm. You don't show it. That's right. Verse 45 and 46. Okay. Yes. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses in whom you trust. Hold on. Mm. That is the key right there. They trusted in the law and Moses for salvation. Mm. This is why Peter is telling them there is not salvation there. The salvation that you need is going to be Christ. That's right. He tells you that there is none other name. Who carries the name? Jesus That's has right. that name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Mm-hmm. Did he say Moses? He said, no. He didn't. He said Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth, the one that they crucified. That's that right. name right there. Is where you're going to get your salvation. But what they kept telling, even back here, they said what? In verse 45, Jesus said, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust for what? Salvation. salvation. Verse 46. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me. For he wrote of me. See? Mm. They was reading Moses. They didn't believe what Moses said. Sound like a lot of law keepers today. Yes. You're mm-hmm. trying to teach Christ and love, and they keep taking you back. To Moses. Keep taking you back to Moses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no. Because Jesus said, if you believe Moses, you, you would believe have been. me. Yeah. Because he told you, search the scriptures for adding them. You think you have eternal life, but they are that which what testify me. me. That's what he's telling them. Same message Peter would give mm. to these, um, these, the leadership here of Judah. Okay, verse 13. Okay, okay, so back to Acts. Oh, Acts 4 and 13. Four. Okay. Yeah. Let me change this over. Okay, so Acts chapter 4 and verse 13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Hold on, Sahara. So now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, yes, sir, that these men wasn't biking down hmm. from what they was t- teaching, they stood on what they believed, and what it said they perceived hmm. that they were. Unlearned and, and what else? And ignorant men. Could this be because they thought they were unlearned and ignorant men of the law of Moses? They not learned about what Moses. Yep, that's what it they is. ignorant of the law. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's what they call it. Mm-hmm. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. See, yes, they, sir. they marveled and they were surprised. They just amazed. And what? It said they took knowledge of them. Or they were aware. And they, they recognized that these men had been with Jesus. Mm-hmm. See, they know. Yeah, they be knowing. They know. Mm-hmm. But let's look at Ecclesiastics 8 and 1. So you ignorant and unlearned by this law of Moses, see. Hmm. It says you didn't know to move that leaven. Yep. All them crumbs, he ain't take no bread out That's of That's right. Yep. They be knowing to be he fast. He said fast yes. on this atonement. I guess they missed that, huh? <laughs> okay. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 1. I'm trying to get there. Okay, here we go. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Yes, sir. Now, wasn't Peter them bold? Because they got their wisdom from Christ. He opened what they understanding yes, of them scripts. 
but they see it as you ignorant or learned. Mm -hmm. But it it makes you bold. It makes you stand on it when you understand that the shadow you're looking at the shadow versus the real has come now. Mm -hmm. And you see it. Mm -hmm. You just see this thing. And you just get bold. And they say you arrogant, you hating. No. It say who is as a wise man? And who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? It says that a man's wisdom maketh his face, face to shine. shine. You coming with it. Yes, that sir. light is shining. You got understanding yes, of this sir. book, man. And that boldness on you. You ever seen a person when they bold? They yeah. Be, no, yeah. they, they be like. They come in hard and heavy like Stephen. That's right. <laughs> Yes, sir. I love it. That's right. And they recognize where you be. I'm going to in that script over there just leaving alone. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They know. That's right. That light on you because of this word. Mm -hmm. Right in verse 14, verse, back in Acts 4. Okay. It says... And beholding the man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against him. Oh, so they beholding. They, now they standing here seeing the man who was healed. He's standing right here with Peter and John. Now they can't say nothing yeah. about that. Mm. And it says that they, they couldn't say nothing against that healing because remember... One of the other rulers was called what Nicodemus. Yeah, that's right. And he was a what ruler of the Jews. That's right. And so you know, he know all of them. And what the Nicodemus he came by night, and he even said that we know that you are teaching from God, because can't nobody do these miracles mm -hmm. that you do except God be with them. See, they had that yeah. knowledge, so they understood that when they saw Peter. And John them do that miracle and that man standing there with him. That's why they said he been with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> they they been with Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. That discussion I've been had already because Nicodemus told me. Yep. He and this is how him. the Lord want our people. It reminds me, you know, the Lord has always told us, you can see in Leviticus, he said, be holy as I am holy. <laughs> see, because we're supposed to be a reflection. Right. Of Christ. Mm -hmm. So when they looking at Peter and John, who do they see? Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mind you, these men weren't, men weren't doing evil. Mm -hmm. They weren't doing nothing but what good deeds. Because it takes love to, for you to want to go and heal That's your right. brother. Because they could have left mm -hmm. the lame man. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Right. He, he always do this every Sabbath, every mm -hmm. time we beat up. Right. Mm -hmm. Nope. But no. Mm -mm. Okay, so verse 15. Verse 15. But when they had commanded them to go outside, out of the council, they conferred among themselves. Y'all go on outside now. Y'all step outside this room here. <laughs> you and Peter, Peter, John, y'all step outside this council. Why? So we can talk. Cause we can't do nothing with this situation mm -hmm. here, so yeah. we need talking private about what we gonna do, mm -hmm. how we what, how this thing ain't gonna work out here. We got them. What we gonna do with them? Cause Peter and I, them not they put the word on. Show sure did, and they got a miracle. Yeah. So now, what you gonna what do you with gonna that? do with that? And that's how these leaders do, you know, even today. Mm -hmm. You know, these magical Negroes, that's what they do. They all meet up. Yes. And they mm -hmm. hold a council on you because they don't know what to do with you. That's right. They don't know what to do. Mm -mm. And when they talking, they don't mm -hmm. want you around. And they don't want the people around either. They sure don't. Because remember, they, these kind of people be concerned about their public image. That's right. Mm-hmm. We don't want to look like they got a one up on us That's right. in the eyes of the people. So true. Mm -hmm. Oh, so these men must be true men. <laughs> must be sent from God. And then y'all must really do be must be wolves in sheep clothing. Right. <laughs> they don't want to be exposed. They don't want to be exposed at all. That's that's a a, a wolf greatest fear. Yes, to be exposed. Mm -hmm. Acts four and verse uh, sixteen. Yes. Saying, what shall we do to these men? 
For that indeed a notable miracle have been done by them is manifest to all of them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we can't, we cannot deny it. All right. So now as they conferred or they talked among themselves, what first thing they say? Okay, so now what we going to do with these men? This is the conversation. What we going to do with Peter and John? Because you see a miracle, um, indeed yeah. a notable miracle. I mean, everybody, it's, this miracle is well known. Yeah. Did it right here in the temple, you know. And so it's what he said. Um, and it's indeed a miracle. And it, and by them it's manifested to yeah. all them that do it. Because Israel See, because they see, yeah, you know it. Yes. <laughs> And they, so you can't lie. Mm -mm. You can't deny it, that it didn't happen. Right. So everybody do live in Jerusalem know about it. And ain't no denying it. The mm. lame man is here. Mm. You know, he came into the temple. He was outside. He gave a beautiful. Not only did he come in here walking, this man came leaping. Yeah. And praising God. Mm. And not only we saw him, all the other people saw oh, him. Baby, yeah. So what are we going to do? How this going to go down? That's right. Verse 17. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. Mm. So see, they don't want it to get out that Peter and John, because that means more people going to come to you. That's right. For help, for assistance, for healing, just like they did with Jesus. Did Jesus have multitudes? I mean, multitudes. I mean, that's so sad. I'm just touched the him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's so many of them here. That's right. And they don't want this. But he said, but that it spread no further. And, and what they don't spread no further either is that their message about Christ, that they're teaching about the resurrection from the dead, they don't want this to spread no further among the people. Why? Because if Christ is this lamb, which he is, that means we cut off. We cut. We can't let this get out of That's there. right. Mm -hmm. So there is a motive behind the threats. Mm -hmm. So when you get threatened as a teacher, there is a motive behind that when you're teaching the That's truth right. of God. Mm -hmm. And it's to stop you. It's to, to it hopes to hinder you. That's right. From this word being spread. Mm hmm Right. Because that leads to them losing everything. Right. Mm hmm That so they, they don't want exploit yes. the people for. So that's where the attacks come. That's where the threats come from. Mm -hmm. That's where the uh, flagging your videos come, come from. from. That's right. Mm-hmm. Shout up and you're mm -hmm. doing everything else. Yep. So they going to say, let us straightly or strictly mm -hmm. threaten them. See them threats? Yep. That they speak henceforth to no man mm -hmm. in that name. Because when Peter and them say Jesus, mm -hmm. and the message that come with it is, mm -hmm. he's been raised from the dead. He was the lamb slain. <laughs> That's right. That goes that Levitical there priesthood. Go, they gone. in trouble. And, and they said, see that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. Didn't Paul just tell us in Romans? How can they hear Without a preacher. Right. See, this is why they need you quiet. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's why they don't want no truth tellers mm -mm. out here. Mm -mm. None. That's right. They want you to shut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got to be just like Christ and these apostles, and you got to keep blasting them. That's right. And that's why, you know, with the sisters, you have to understand the messages that you're hearing. Like they'll hear Brother Reggie teach about, you know, black women and how we need to get ourselves together. See, other, the black women don't want this message to they don't spread want, yep. because they want to create more little demon black women. That's right. You know, little Jezebels running around thinking they run in the house and create some little afterlives that want to rule. That's right. Over our men. Shut that message Shut down. It, down. it hurt our feelings. We don't like it. That's right. But you can't straightly or strictly threaten. Because even further down, Peter say, do we obey men or God up right. in here? We obey God. Yep. Because we not the type of of or people or people that should be ruling or trying to help um, our people get better by lying to them. Yeah. We've been lame long enough. Yeah, that's enough of that. It's enough it's damage to get up and walk. That's right. 
Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. In the name of we Jesus. We're going to blast you <laughs> in the right. name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because why? This is serious. This is serious it's business. serious business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let us go to John 15, 8 okay. and verse 18. Because they said how they, they threatened him. That they speak hints no more. They don't want they don't want you to hear good words that's gonna fix you. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make you better. John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Hate. Hate, not love. Not love you. Hate. Not pats on the back. So and what world is this? We talking about the world of Israel. Mm -hmm. Cause that's who the Lord deal with his people, right? So remember, if Israel hate you, mm -hmm. <laughs> it hated <laughs> Jesus first. All right? Verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you, hated yeah. you. Didn't, didn't Jesus choose his disciples out? Mm -hmm. He chose them out from Israel. From among Israel. He didn't go to say, let me see what Levites are mm -hmm. Oh, this this elder over here, yeah, he, no, he went and got ignorant and unlearned men. Mm -hmm. That's who he went and chose out of the world of Israel. That's right. Okay. Verse um, 20. 20. Yes. Remember the word that I said unto you the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. See? Mm. So Peter and them already know what to expect because yeah. Jesus had already told, told them, them. If Israel hated me, hey, we can go all the way back. Yeah. Because oh, they yeah. didn't. Did they want Jesus as their king? No. They said, we won't. Our own man king. Like the other nation. Like the other nation. We don't want God. Mm -hmm. He said they rejected me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Samuel thought it was him. Yeah, no, it ain't you. They said, no, it ain't you, Samuel. Mm -hmm. They rejected me. Yep. And because you doing my work, you getting the same treatment. But it's about me. Because yeah. it started with me. And because mm -hmm. my message is in you, guess what? They're going to hate you too. Yep. And we saw that with the kings, right? Like for King David, for example, when he sent um, his messengers. Mm -hmm. Remember that when he sent his messengers that time, and then um, their messengers got abused. Yeah, yeah, them cut them, yeah, cut the cloth off cut the bike. bike side. You know, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Yes, it is. Cut half the bill. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. But this is what this is what Israel do. They persecute because they persecute you because they don't like the message mm -hmm. that you're teaching. Because why? This message it brings light. It does. And it makes our people heal. But they don't want them deeds to be exposed. No. But it's so crazy because when the deeds get exposed, that's when we can make changes. That's right. Or we can see mm -hmm. all of the evil. Like, wow, oh my God, that's what it looked like. Yes. Oh my God. You know, when you can see it for that's what right. it is, mm -hmm. then you can begin to make changes. But Israel don't see it that way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They see it as, no, I want to keep doing it. Don't expose it. Don't, don't bring it out. That's right. Don't say nothing about it. I like being able to board my children. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's so true. I like being gay and lesbian, be a whore, be a thug. That's right. Mm -hmm. Be on drugs. Don't don't talk about it. Don't mention it. That's right. Because I like doing it. Mm -hmm. I like indulging in it. Yes. I don't plan on changing. Mm -hmm. Then they don't. Mm -mm. I like being a rebellious black woman. I like that. Yep. That I could do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. That's Miss right. Independent. Mm -hmm. And see, if you can't call yourself a saint, and then when you hear a message about what our women are doing and need to stop doing it, say, oh, it's the man, it's the man. Mm -hmm. All right, so, okay, so it's, what, what you should be discouraged and dis just disgusted about it's what our people do. But it right. might just be a tinge of something that them sisters doing that you like. Yep. Mm -hmm. and but that's the Lord say even them that take pleasure. And take pleasure. That's right. 
You're going to get See, the this same, thing is serious. The same judgment. Mm -hmm. that That's right. It's the same judgment. And the Lord know you can't fool him. Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to go back to X. Five. Oh, did we do it all? Well, I think uh, 20. Hold on, let me go back to John. I'm going to get ahead of myself. <laughs> John 15. I thought we read it. In verse 21, okay. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Oh, mm. so you mean this is the same one they were strictly or straightenly threatened about that they henceforth teach no more in his name? In his name. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Now, wasn't Jesus prophet? He, yep. So basically, he prophesied and telling them what's going to happen, yep. what's going to come to pass upon you, because he knows. So look, and this is exactly, he them just getting started by doing what they were called to do, yep. and then already the guy, <laughs> already, <laughs> the yep. guy got by the leadership, mm. man. So Jesus, so that's spot that world, mm -hmm. Israel. Because remember, he said, you men Israel, you rulers and elders, right. these Israelites. Mm -hmm. So that's the world he talked about. Yes. That world hates you. That's the same world that had Jesus crucified. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Same world. Okay. Verse 18. All right. It says, and they called him and com they and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. And so here we go. Mm. So they called them, them who Peter and John, and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Ain't that something? Mm-hmm. Not that they were doing evil. Mm -hmm. Don't you be running around here, okay? Y'all teaching the Lord and healing folks through That's Jesus' right. name and teaching them and to come to Christ that their right. sins may be forgiven. Mm -hmm. That's right. But you notice what you won't say? You hear them say that you can't say nothing about Moses in the law. That's right. But Jesus, no, because he, he overthrowing our Levitical priesthood. That's here. right. And replacing it with the order of Melchizedek, and we don't like it. Mm. And and this is still Israel leaders, even to yes. this day. They don't want true teachers and true preachers out there teaching and helping our people in the name of Jesus. But what you can teach now, you can teach our doctrine. Yeah, you can teach our doctrines and teachings. Mm -hmm. You you can even say our name. From yep. to, you can shout yeah, us that's out. Yeah, a shout yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> but teaching Jesus. Love one another, live in holy, and especially you would think you call it our, our sins. Yeah. No, nah, that's a no, no. Mm. Now, we done commanded you. Now, we ain't going to tell you no more. <laughs> but let's go to Luke 24, verse 46 mm -hmm. and 47. And so, as you, so you can see they, they waving the authority card mm -hmm. around. Yep. They sticking out the authority chest. We come back. Luke 24 and 46. Okay. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. So who do you think you are to tell these men that you command them not to speak mm. or to teach in the name of Jesus when Jesus had told them That's right. that repentance and remission of sins mm -hmm. should be preached among all nations beginning at Jerusalem, you know, because they... Wanted them not to speak at in Jerusalem mm -hmm. where they began this thing at, and they said we can't deny this miracle. That's right. Because you know all Jerusalem, nobody, right. this same spot that they began at, and notice because what he said that repentance, repentance, not no lamb, no goat, 
No, no Moses. Repentance. No law. Mm -hmm. And remission of sin should be preached. So if you preach in Jesus and through him is repentance and remission of sins, now we need Levitical priesthood. Yep, that's and that's the what they Moses. think. Mm -hmm. See, this is what this battle is for. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying Jesus forgives sins, why we are uh, bringing well, lambs? What need mm -hmm. had the Lord have for me as a priest? Mm -hmm. Because remember, they was the priests, the that's intercessors right. for mm -hmm. Israel. That's right. But if so, you base the sin Christ to have priest, mm -hmm. and he is. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to start at Jerusalem. Why? Because this is where these leaders sat. This was the um, the headquarters. That's right. Mm -hmm. And well, you want to start, you hope to start with the leaders. Because remember, the leaders had the authority over the people. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's like the Lord trying to tell you, you need to give this to the people. They refusing it. No, no, I refuse. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to I'm not going to repent. That's right. Mm -hmm. No, feed him with it. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's why he got his apostles doing it. That's right. Because you don't want to do it. Mm -mm. The Lord done put the real thing. He done showed you what the shadow means. And he wants you to give the real thing to the people. You don't want to do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So now what the Lord basically doing is I got to let you hear it to give you a chance. And then that way when I judge you later, you can't say I didn't tell you. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right, Sahar. And so quit teaching and preaching Jesus and that he he remits our sins and they can repent through him and be forgiven because we under this Levitical priesthood and we're going to keep running it under Moses. Yep. And because we Aaron soon. That's right. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> now go on now, Peter, y'all. It is him. Mm -hmm. All these feast days getting ready to come up too. Yeah, and you right here talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. so, so what that be for the feast days? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They thinking about all of that. That's right. But what they understand is Peter and John, they doing what Jesus commanded mm -hmm. them to do. But that's why the Lord told them to search the scriptures. Because if you search the scriptures, you would have known that the Lord had his plan from the beginning. That's right. Mm-hmm. And now it's being revealed. So you're like, oh my God, what is this? But he been showed you mm -hmm. through Moses. Yep. This was always the plan. His plan was always from the beginning to redeem the people of Israel That's right. by his son. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you guys are just temporary, a stand-in. That's all. Mm -hmm. But they done done so much ganking the people, taking mm -hmm. advantage of them. They ain't finna get that spot up. Yeah, they ain't finna get that up. Mm -hmm. they, they got it good now. Yes. I just got a palace. That's right. They ain't finna get that up. <laughs> so like, he got a dirt six story house. He got a mansion. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Yes, sir. Well, it's a heart. That's all I have. You had anything you want to add? No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right, family. With that said, we will say shalom. shalom.